I literally have not moved. I clicked, I clicked the recording button to end the recording, and I clicked it again to start the recording. Let's talk to you, Sprain. Never thought I'd see the day you'd be riding the Maelstorm, Rex. It is an impressive ship, I'll give him that. And so far, Tiger Lady seems like kind of a jerk, but maybe she has something to prove, who knows. I want to know about Lizard Guy. She has a cool tiger buddy, but mostly Lizard Guy. I want to know about Lizard Guy. Suppose it just goes so far, how far you come as a salvager. I'm proud of you, lad. Thanks, buddy. Now then, are you all set? We're setting sail as soon as we're ready. Yeah, sure, I'm ready. That's what I like to hear. Come on, then. Hop on. We're heading into uncharted territory for this, you know? I'm getting goose pimples just thinking about it. I mean, I understand the concept of goose pimples, but, I mean, normally it's goose bumps. That's the expression. I still don't get it. Is that a Titan or not? Also, how is this a feat of engineering if we're riding around on one of these guys? I figured a feat of engineering meant, you know, we didn't have one of those. C Sev Mailstorm. We should be reaching Uncharted Zone tomorrow. There's plenty of time left until then. I guess I could go and talk with the clients for a bit. I still don't know much about them as I'd like to. Besides that, it's not every day you get to talk to real drivers. Uh, oh, and once I'm done with them, I better go see Monel. I meant to be on lookout duty tonight. He won't be very pleased if I never show up. That's fair. Good thing I paid my tab before I skipped town. So we need to talk to all these guys. Sprain. Ah, Sprain again. Uh, and who's that? Jin up there. Hmm. Which one's Jin? That's Emo McMask face. Alright, so we have Cat Lady with her... We have Tiger Lady. She's just being called Tiger Lady. Emo McMask face. Uh, cool Dude McSpiky hair. And Lizard Man. So, let's talk to Tiger Lady. You seem awful quiet. You get seasick or something. Of course I'm not seasick. Our whole world is the sea. Why do we even have a concept of what that is? It's just I'm not used to ships with this many salvengers on it, is all. Her name's Nia, for the record. Well, if it's wearing you out, then you'll be a wreck by the time we reach our destination. I can handle myself, all right? Yeah, if you say so. What up, tiger half of Tiger Lady? Master Rex, are you prepared to begin salvaging? Let us all work together and make this mission a success. I like this guy. Wouldn't have it any other way. This guy's cheerful. He's willing to talk to me. Seems nice enough. I don't even mind Miss Lady over here. She seems, uh, she seems sure of herself and a bit rough around the edges, but, you know, who isn't? Just met me. You don't know what I'm like. Put yourself, uh, you know, on the defensive. You know, make sure you're not to be messed with, if I'm someone who messes with people. Rex, it's time to eat, drink, and be merry. It'll be a while before I reach our destination. Go get rested and face Charles' head. That's what Salvager says. Absolutely love to, but I sort of got guard duty. Ah, too bad. Make sure you guard like no one's guarded before. Even mindless attacks like that are part of life's little lessons. I'm guessing something's going to happen while I'm on guard duty. Anyways, who is that? Hey, Rex, you talking to my... Okay. What up, emo McMask face? Okay. Hi there. Yes, I'm calling him Emo McMask Face. You're from Letharian, are you? Sure am. I was raised in Fonset Village. Village is right by the cloud sea, so I grew up swimming in the clouds. Why do they care about Letharians? That's why salvaging work comes natural to me. I'm pretty confident in my skills, despite how I may look. Very good. Oh, all right. At least he's not treating... I, when I saw this guy, my first thought was he's going to treat me like a child and be a douche. He seems all right. How are we leaking? There's nothing above us. It's not raining or any... Ugh, maybe there's pipes. I don't know. So I guess I go upstairs then. Talk over Mono's watch. Good luck. He's on the lookout. Oh, okay, cool. But I have other people to talk to. <laughs> sure. Uh, ah, it's Lizard Man and Cool Dude Mick... I can't remember his name. Uh, <laughs> Server and Manos. Cool Dude Mc... Fancy Sword, I think I said. Cool Dude McFancy Sword? Sure, that sounds right. From now on, you are Cool Dude McFancy Sword. There's Emo McMask Face, Cool Dude Mc... Razzly Dazzly came with us! a boy, Razzly Dazzly. Next, you see no good Mono and take over lookout duty yet? Mono's on platform just above here. Step's a bit risky, so be careful not to fall off. Yeah, sure, noted. 
Eesh. Those are some high steps, aren't they? Noe Malice, what's up? Cool dude, make fancy sword. So what do you want, kid? I'm called Rex, actually. Pleasure to be working with you. So I'm guessing you're not going to fill me in on exactly what we're looking for out here. Which is not a good idea, since we're salvagers, and what we're looking for is, like, the exact reason. Never mind. That's the idea. Need to know basis. I'm a salvager. I need to know what I'm looking for. Why, are you curious? At least describe the general shape of it. Well, I sure am, but I'll do the work I'm paid for, whether you tell me to or not. Oh, whether you tell me or not. That's what I like to hear, kid. I just hope your skills are more advanced than your age. My name is Rex, not Kid. Shut up, cool dude, fancy sword. What's your name, lizard? Lizard man? Evading Malos' attack when you're not even a driver? That's impressive, boy. I look forward to seeing how you handle work ahead. Is that a compliment? Thanks, I think. I like this guy. This guy's awesome. Of course the lizard man's awesome. So yeah, I'm not a fan so far of Cool Dude McFancy Sword. Uh, sort of neutral on Emo McFace Mask. Uh, or I think it's just Emo Face Mask, actually. Not a fan nah, Not a fan of Cool Dude McFancy Sword. Neutral on Emo Mask. Uh, Blizzard Man's awesome, and Tiger Lady, which is both of them. They act as one single unit. Uh, tiger is Tiger, and Lady is Lady. Uh, I like them both. I think they're interesting. So you finally arrived. It's not even night. Are you to keep watch, or aren't you? Not just yet. Alright, but be quick about it. Happy hour only lasts so long. An hour. That's... Yeah. Righto, anyways. Good music. Is there anything else I can explore on the ship? Is there like a way down? There's over here. What's over here? Other than my dad. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plop a save right here. And then, because I'm a dink, I'm gonna take one last look and say, Smell you later! And I fell to my death. Game over. Yeah, okay, that didn't happen. That was a poor- THANKS! <laughs> Fucking taunt me. I wonder if I could land on that claw, or get down there. I fell for a bit before he entered the animation. Pupin? Yeah, fine, I'll talk to Pupin. Why not? What's in these rooms, anyways? I can't go in. What up, Pupin? Pupin, what are you doing here? Meh! Pupin is taking vacation! Yeah, it's a little pressure trip. Hmm... This is suspicious. Is Pupin going to be the one who screws us over? Someone on this ship's going to screw us over. You just know it. It's not Razzly Dazzly. And I don't think it's any of our crew. Maybe Cool Dude McFancy Sword? But Lizard Man and Tiger Lady definitely won't. And, um... Emo Mask Face probably won't either. So finally, yeah, fine. Let's start the shift. At last, I can get a breather. I think I've earned myself a drink or two. Standing here in one spot, foisting work off onto you. I'm not looking... It's not looking too good out there. I'd steal yourself for the worst. It looks fine. What are you basing that on? There's nothing around us. If something's up, give me a shout. Don't worry, I won't be drinking myself into a stupor or anything. That's good to hear, at least. Nice casual drink. Never hurt anyone. Note I said A. Nice. Really? We're doing that bit where I sweep past the incredibly obvious thing? That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? <laughs> I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Amelia. They've started boozing the Lady. Blacks. We should join them. Why aren't you? I'm here? like 12. It's not that I hate her. I just. I drink with people. Drinking alone is sad, unless you're doing it for the sake of a comedy video on YouTube. That sounds like a waste of time and money. I like her more. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvages do. So, kid, my name's Rex. Okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? 
that there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. The you could say it was Titanic. Ha ha ha! A hundred people died. Day by day. Sooner or later. But you know, none of them are alive to yell at me in the comments, so I don't care. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's uh, why you're a salvager. It's just that, that gaff. And that bay is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone can have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I like this girl. I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature. But you? What? Oh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Grumps of yours sounds all right. Oh. And you're all right too, kid. I like her. Not that different from me. She's all right. But then, tragedy struck. I think she's earned uh, an enough respect for me that I'll call her by her name instead of my stupid nickname. The rest of them are still on nickname terms. Nia. I have to remember that. Because I'm very bad with names. So what the hell am I doing? Pupin, what's going on? What are we doing sneaking around the place? Oh, yeah, this asshole. Never mind about Pupin. What's happening to salvaging? Chairman and expect results. Oh, don't worry. Working very hard, especially when there's 100 Gs on the line. That's a spirit. Now, quick, hurry down rendezvous point. Wee! Oh, shit. That's your fault. Your target is located inside a shipwreck, 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our taste, so... We'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull fast. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the... Hey, he found his pants. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying your low lives a lot, so don't screw it up. You smoke so so. I think that's fair to say. Shut up, Rex. Besides, I like Nia. Tiger is still Tiger. But I like Nia. Got a good head on her shoulders, it seems. And she has a Tiger buddy. <laughs> One of these people is a main character. Am I the only one? Okay, cool. I don't have, like, a safety harness to pull me back up or anything. I'm just gonna assume... Okay, there's the... Ah, we have claws. All right, all right, okay. Is that it? We're salvaging a ship? You could have just said we're salvaging a ship. It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... Propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? I think I recognize it. I can't say for certain, though.
And this is what I don't like about the, oh, it's a need-to-know basis. It's like, well, you could at least have told us we were salvaging a ship. Maybe not tell us why it's so important to you, but, you know. It's still a ship. It's not like it's some big secret. Oh, no. They got a ship. Heavens. You know, if it were like an incredibly rare jewel, maybe. But it's a ship. I also have to applaud them. From what I understand of Deep Sea Salvage, this is actually pretty, uh... Barring, of course, some things used for fictionalization, this is kind of accurate. What they do is, um... I don't think they personally swim down and attach things like that, but they do have things that are designed to be attached to ships oh, and then release the appearance as if, um... But it's what's inside that matters. You know, to cause it to float up. They release balloons like that. Flotation devices and such. For heavier objects when things like a crane won't do, of course. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living. Yeah, it's <laughs> It's my living and it's a basic job. I swam down with a couple people and attached a balloon to it. Put on pants, you idiot! It's raining! What's wrong with you? Hey, emo mask, what's going on? You with us. Me? You could have dragged the kid along. Seriously? Guess he thinks you need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool dude, McFancy Sword. You're an ass. Don't talk to Nia that way. Don't just stand there. You've got your orders. Oh, she has throwing knives, too? This girl's awesome. When she get to join my team? Ancient ship. Yeah, it's a ship. I think it's either the one from... It looks familiar. Party formation has changed. I want Lizard Man. Select a character to move. What? What do you mean, to move? Okay, so I don't know what this is all about. Oh, Lizard Man has to be with Cool Dude McFancy Sword. I want to party with Lizard Man on my own. Man. Well, unfortunately, I don't really know what I'm picking, so I'm just going to assume the default is sort of what they're going for. You cannot substitute this character right now, but I really want to play as Nia. Um, I have four character slots, but... You know, maybe what they're suggesting for me is that Emo Mask should take her because she's a lower level. I don't know. Is he going to be, like, in the back doing support? Or... I don't know. Whatever. This is very different to how uh, the one on the Wii U played. I didn't have party members, per se. It was just me and my mech suit versus the world. So, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll assume that's fine. That's what the game told me. You've just acquired new commands to accompany you on your... Comrades to accompany you on your adventure. You can adjust the setup in main menu characters change order. Can I equip them with shit? No matter how many friends you make, you will never be able to take more than three party members into battle at once, so choose carefully. Is that three including me or three not including me? The character set to number one in change order will always be the character you control. No two characters fight exactly the same way, so you should experiment with a few to find what fits your playstyle the best. Okay... But, you tell me that, but at the same time, I'm kind of stuck with, uh... Alright, so she's a healer. Of course she is. Yeah, I can't make her position number one is the problem. I'd like to play as these people. Ah, oh, experiment! No, not right now, obviously. What's wrong with you? Alright, let's see these characters, though, before I rush off. I can't equip them with shit? Oh. Uh oh <sighs> He's a defender. What are you? You're a fighter? Mm. Odds are I'll probably prefer the fighter, unfortunately, but... Yeah. I like playing healers sometimes. Maybe I'll go healer. I'm a healer with a fucking tiger and throwing knives. That's pretty rad, right? Maybe I'll like being a healer. 